Because Orville Dam keeps salmon and steelhead trout from their spawning grounds, the Department of Water Resources built the Feather River Fish Hatchery. The hatchery helps fish begin their life cycle to ensure we will always have salmon and steelhead trout. The hatchery is like a nursery, where new fish are born and grow until they are big enough to be placed into the river system. Salmon spend most of their lives in the ocean. In the fall, mature salmon return to their native rivers to spawn. Some of the fish swim hundreds of miles. Feather River salmon come all the way through the San Francisco Bay and up the Sacramento River. Salmon need special spawning grounds with clean, cool water flowing through just the right kind of gravel to make their nest and hatch their eggs. The female salmon digs a nest called a red to deposit her eggs. She will choose a male to fertilize her eggs. After they spawn, the male and female salmon die. Their bodies will actually help to feed their offspring when they hatch. Depending on the conditions, the young salmon will wiggle out of the red in 45 to 60 days. After spending several weeks in the river, the young fish will make their way to the ocean. Even under the best conditions, less than 30% of the eggs ever hatch, and only one in 10 salmon actually reaches the ocean to grow into adulthood. Under controlled conditions, like those in the hatchery, the survival rate is much higher. When you visit the hatchery, the first thing you see is a small dam that keeps the salmon from going any farther upstream. There's a platform to watch the salmon swim up the fish ladder and some windows to watch the fish climbing the ladders. At the top of the fish ladder, the salmon enter a gathering pool where a mechanical arm sweeps them into the main hatchery. There, workers artificially spawn the salmon. There's an observation window to see the spawning operations. The salmon are put in a tranquilizing tank so they will be easier to handle. Once the fish are moving slowly, the males are separated from the females. The salmon are quickly and humanely killed. Steelhead trout are put back into the river. The eggs are scooped out of the females and into a tray where the milk from the males is mixed in. Then workers transfer the eggs to the incubators. In the fall spawning season, there are about 20 million fertilized eggs in here. In about two weeks, the eyes of the new fish will begin to form. A couple of weeks after that, they begin to hatch. At this stage, they're called sac fry. Pretty soon, they begin to look like fish. At this stage, they're taken outside to one of the big ponds called raceways. And when they grow to be two inches long, they're called fingerlings. When the fish are about nine months old, they're loaded into trucks and taken downstream closer to the ocean. And that's where they're released. The salmon will get used to the salt water and swim to the ocean where they will live. If they survive, they'll come back up the river to spawn in two to four years. The spawning season starts in September. Learn more about the salmon's life cycle and about how they are spawned by visiting the Feather River Fish Hatchery. They're open every day from 8 a.m. till sunset.